Hello and welcome to this introduction about the Lindab Group. My name is Ola Ringdahl and I'm the president and CEO of Lindab. Lindab is a ventilation company with a strong presence and position in Europe. Our sales in 2019 was approximately 10 billion Swedish krona. We have about 5,200 employees and we uh, have branches, production and warehouses across Europe. Lindab has three business areas, uh, whereof ventilation systems is by far the largest. Ventilation systems, they focus on air duct systems and indoor climate solutions, meaning air distribution and air diffusion primarily. We have a good position both in the um, new built and the uh, renovation market, and uh, we focus mainly on the uh, commercial and industrial segment of that industry. In uh, some of the Lindab countries, we also have a strong profile system uh, activity, quite integrated with the distribution points uh, and the logistic flow uh, for ventilation systems. So they work uh, together, but to different target groups. And in addition, we have uh, building systems, our third business area, and they are um, specialized in customized steel buildings in continental Europe. Lindab has uh, three long-term financial targets. The first one is about growth. Uh, we say that the combination of organic and acquired growth should be between five and 8% annually uh, as an average over a business cycle. And the profitability should be on 10% uh, operating margin, uh, also as an average over a business cycle. Now you can see from the graph that Lindab has struggled a bit in the past to reach that level, uh, but since 2019 we have come above the 9% level, so we are in the, in the, on the right track. And finally we have the uh, net debt to EBITDA ratio. That should not exceed 3, and as you can see in the graph uh, we have uh, decreased that uh, level uh, continuously over the past few years, and currently we are at around one and a half. We also have a dividend policy where we should uh, uh, pay 40% of the net profit every year as a dividend. Now let's look at some key highlights from the latest available uh, quarter that we presented, quarter three of 2020. 2020 has not been a normal year, as you all know, and. Uh, uh, we are quite pleased that we could see a positive market development um, uh, in Q3 versus Q2 when there was a lot of lockdowns in Europe. We saw a recovery in ventilation systems, we saw strong growth in profile systems, um, but the market uh, was, was quite challenging for building systems and the project related business. We actually uh, had a record high operating margin in the quarter for the group, uh, which is very pleasing to see. And we've been good at adapting the, the costs to a new uh, reality uh, after COVID-19. Our focus area in 2020, uh, besides handling, of course, everything around COVID-19, which has taken a lot of uh, focus in the organization. But in addition to that, we continue our decentralization efforts bringing uh, very much of the uh, responsibility and accountability as close to the customers as possible. So it's in the front line that we uh, really, where we really execute, where we want to have the decision power in the company. Uh, we have very distinct uh, uh, business units uh, and uh, very strong local managers who have taken a fantastic responsibility during the year. Profitability is a prerequisite for continued growth and continued investment. And we make very sure that we uh, set the targets and, and follow up so that the units can reach sustainable profitability in line with our financial targets. And the, maybe the most important thing is to have customer satisfaction uh, thanks to our very good availability and our promise that we always deliver in time. 
We talk about delivery excellence, and I think Lindab has really taken some uh, important steps in this area in the past two or three years. Now, to make all this uh, possible, it is necessary to upgrade the uh, equipment and the facilities of the Lindab Group. And we have embarked on quite a, an ambitious investment program since 2018, where we upgrade our facilities, we upgrade our equipment, and we automate everything we can. And this is now leading to substantial efficiency increases, which is one of the explanations why we are strengthening our gross margin, even in these difficult times. During 2020, Lindam has also started what I hope will be an acquisition-led journey. And we have made, uh, to date, four acquisitions. And we have made uh, one investment in a company. And we have also divested a group of companies. So let me start in chronological order uh, from the first acquisition of the year. That was Thorduct in Ireland. And uh, they are uh, active in smoke evacuation and fire protection products with a very smart technology. Uh, on 3rd of July, we acquired uh, Krenna. And Krenna is a company specialized in rectangular uh, duct manufacturing, and they are extremely fast in their services. They are located in Sweden. In September, uh, it was time for us to actually divest a group of companies. Uh, IMP Klima Group, that was acquired by Lindab in 2015. They are mainly active in air handling units. This was an area where Lindab uh, had difficulties to really succeed and to be profitable. And after uh, many efforts and, and uh, considerations, we decided to divest the IMP Klima Group in September. In October, we acquired uh, a company called Ecovent. Uh, they are a ventilation company in the south of Sweden, uh, very good at uh, fire dampers, but also with a good presence in rain hoods and other uh, ventilation accessories. In November, it was time for us to make an interesting uh, investment in a company called Leapcraft. They are based in Denmark, and they are specialized in advanced measurement and analysis of the indoor climate. And this is, of course, a growing trend People want to understand better the uh, indoor climate, the air they breathe, and, uh, and make sure that uh, children or elderly or um, uh, office workers are productive or healthy uh, at work. Uh, so this will be an exciting uh, cooperation that, that will now happen between Leapcraft and uh, Lindab uh, in the future. And uh, in December, we acquired a company in Norway called Air Faber, and they are specialized in ventilation products, both rectangular and circular, and they are strong in the Oslo area, where Linda wanted to further strengthen our position. So we have welcomed many new colleagues and interesting companies, well-performing, profitable units that will uh, bring a fantastic addition to Linda for the future. Now, uh, something that is, of course, on everybody's uh, mind uh, these days is the area of sustainability. And uh, Lindab, with our um, products and, and technologies, we are well positioned here. Uh, the sustainability trend is really driving the uh, HVAC uh, and ventilation trends uh, uh, and, and growth very strongly today. And we see that uh, to fulfill the targets that uh, have been set by the EU and by national governments in terms of reducing the energy consumption, reducing the CO2 emissions, uh, then we need to address the, uh, the, the building sector and the buildings. And to do that, uh, we need to address the heating and ventilation and cooling of these buildings. And here, uh, Lindab is well positioned to, to gain from, from this trend. Lindab has the uh, uh, ventilation systems rated in the absolute highest energy efficiency class. Our duct systems are the tightest in the market. Our air diffusers are extremely efficient. 
So we have the products and technologies and the selection tools and configurators to help architects, technical consultants, uh, building companies, uh, property owners, landlords, tenants, etc., to have the best energy efficiency in their buildings. Our sustainability strategy uh, is, uh, can be summarized in, th in three different areas. So first of all, we want to uh, contribute to creating healthy buildings. We want to make sure that the uh, building sector and the uh, tenants of uh, these buildings can contribute to a circular economy and have access to premium air draw quality for the people who are inside these buildings. And we do spend a lot of time inside buildings these days, don't we? The second area has to do with reducing our customers' environmental impact. So the solutions we contribute with should be sustainable, they should be energy efficient to reduce that impact uh, of our customers. And we do that by having the superior products, but also through different digital tools and support so that the customers can fine tune the systems and achieve better results. And the third area is, of course, our own impact uh, from our activities. We have a large manufacturing footprint, uh, logistics, uh, etc. And uh, we also source material and uh, semi-finished products from different suppliers. We need to have a very sustainable way of sourcing these products. We are already good, but we are improving even further. We want to have sustainable production and pro production methodologies. The transportation sector is another uh, challenge and, and here uh, I think the whole world is going through a, a transformation now with electrification, etc. And we work very much uh, with the optimization of our transport and the logistics system. Uh, let's not forget that there are also other important areas. We work a lot uh, to be an, an attractive uh, employer who can retain uh, talent and develop that talent uh, within the company and we work with good principles and uh, al always with the highest ethical standards. And also we need to be a good member of the community where we uh, are active. So we uh, have different programs to support the local community around our main uh, sites where we have a lot of uh, employees uh, in different parts of Europe. So to summarize, I think that Lindlab has a strong position in a growing and attractive market. The market is driven by the increasing uh, demand for energy savings, uh, the increasing demands for good indoor air quality, and also by the uh, regulations that are increasing now uh, to make sure that buildings are sustainable, that energy efficiencies are, are met, but also other things which contribute to a more healthy uh, indoor climate, including good ventilation to um, minimize the risk of spreading viruses. Our position uh, in, in the European ventilation market is, I would say, quite strong. We are the market leader in the segments where we are uh, active. Uh, we have a strong position in uh, all the 20 major countries in Europe then we are the only one who has that presence across so many borders. Our brand is very recognized in uh, the technologies where we are leading and our products are of premium quality and we are leading that development. So we are quite confident that we are well positioned uh, within our industry. Now, uh, it's not enough to be uh, uh, well positioned and in a growing market. You also need to uh, perform and deliver shareholder value, of course. We focus a lot on execution. Uh, execution to grow organically. Uh, execution to uh, sharpen the product offering uh, even further. And of course, we spend a lot of energy on improving uh, our operations that are quite substantial operations throughout Europe and ensuring that we can continue with delivery excellence. That was tested now during the COVID-19 during the spring. And I'm glad to say that we managed to deliver throughout the crisis in every part of Europe. 
In addition to this, we have an interesting role to play in a relatively fragmented industry, and we are trying to be one of the parties who, are, who uh, consolidate the industry by making selected acquisitions of high quality companies, profitable companies that can add to Lindab's growth and strength going forward. So even if we are living in difficult times and even if the uh, continued effects of the virus uh, are, uh, brings, bring uncertainty, I'm quite confident that Lindab has a strong platform to work with and we are in an attractive uh, industry and we have shown a strong performance through a crisis. So I'm confident that we will stand strong also going forward uh, and I'm looking forward to continue to develop Lindab as a group. I hope that this presentation has contributed to a better understanding of the Lindab Group, our priorities and our prospects. Thank you very much for listening.